So Hassan will beat Juan Reyes, of Guatemala, as I mentioned. He's a tall southpaw. Sinks that backhand into the body. Doesn't really get on the jab all that much, I noticed in his first fight. Well, Batchkov is uh, a good, good fighter. First appeared in the World Championships in 2011 and then 2013. Quarter finalist in 2015. Bronze medalist in the last two editions, losing to Andy Cruz and then Kishon Davis. Made it to the Olympics in 2016 and in Tokyo this year where he picked up another bronze again losing to Davis. So vastly experienced. He's 28. But this is his sixth world championship by virtue of the fact that he appeared in his first one when he was 18. Gold medalist at the 2019 European Games as well. So he's been around the block a good few times. 2-0 and is the pro. He's good to watch. Pressure fighter. Ring A, round one. Got that kind of style which made you think that he would always make a good pro. Ring B, round number one. So into the first. Hasanov, Azerbaijan in the red. Batchkov, Armenia in the blue. Batch couple stalk coming behind that guard. But he's educated with it. He'll move that head. He won't just walk forward. He's got to use that jab, Hasanov. As I said in his first fight, though, that's not really something he tends to do, and that could be a problem. Just trying to hook on the move there, Hasanov. Batchkov is already getting his feet into range and finding the body. 1-2 from Hasanov. Good body attack there from Hasanov. Left to the body, I mentioned that. Then followed up by right. He's got to get Batchkov's respect. He's got to be able to hit him hard enough. But he's maybe just thinking twice as he's coming in there. up a cut on the inside Sarnoff he's using his feet well here but as I said he, he doesn't really have a jab so to keep Batchkov off it's those body attacks and then moving off as he's throwing the hook how long can he keep that up for that's the question I would I would ask Batchkov trying to tuck up there Goes down to the body. Hassan off feeling that the head came in a bit low there. Just holding out that right hand to try and measure with the left there. Hassan off, Batchkov quick with those feet. He's pretty good at cutting off the ring. Attacking the body, going upstairs to the head. Good from Hassan off though. It looked like he could have been in some bother on the ropes there, but immediately started throwing back. He punches hard enough, I'd say, Hasanov, so that no opponent could really just walk him down and walk him down and not be bothered at all about the power. Well, no knockdown there, clearly. I think just a little stumble into the final 30 seconds of round one. Batskov looking to plant the big right hand to the body. He's looking for the uppercut there, Hasanov. He's been boxing almost entirely off the back foot. It's Batchkov who's been coming forward and coming forward. But in terms of, of who's landed the better scoring blows, good straight hand there from Hasanov, straight left hand. I think Hasanov might have taken that. He's had a good round there. A lot of pressure came from Batchkov, Ab absolutely. He was on the front foot. He's stalking, doing his thing that he always does. Split scoring. Two judges going for Hasanov. That's the way I'd have gone with that one. Batchkov with the other three. I could see it either way. I just thought the the greater number of cleaner blows landed quite simply came from Hasanov. Tucks up well, Batchkov. There's very little to hit there. He's got big solid arms on him. Long enough to 
pretty much cover his body and if he really tucks in that chin which he does then he can protect the head as well so that's a, that's an effective shell that he's got going on there So into the second round, Sarnoff of Azerbaijan in the red, picked up two cards in round one, Batchkov in the blue for Armenia, took three of them. Good fight, good entertaining fight, Sarnoff again just backed up into the red corner, but he's, he's coped with that kind of pressure pretty well so far, Batchkov though thundering away to the body there, Sarnoff took three or four in that attack, again sinks in that left. Picked that out as a punchy favoured in his first fight. But the punch output has got to be high from Vasanov. Nice uppercut on the inside. Because the way he fights, he's just trading at mid-range there with Batchkov. Right hand there from Batchkov just knocks him back into the ropes. The way he tried to get out of situations in that first round, Vasanov was hooking on the move, hooking and then moving off. That time he's just planting his feet and just having it with Batchkov at a close range and not making a bad job of it at all. A little shake of the head there from Asanov. I think he feels that Batchkov is coming in a bit low with the head. The referee has taken a point. The referee has responded to that and taken a point. Midway through round two, well, that makes things very, very interesting. He does come in a bit low with the head at times, Batchkov. But he doesn't dip it that low, to be honest. It's more just due to the fact that Osamanov is a lot taller than him. But the point has been taken, and I think the gesticulation from the fighter there did play a part. Batchkov working to the body. Well, the referee breaking them up there. I'm not quite sure what for. Left hand up top there from Batchkov, and a straight right hand as well. He's Beginning to get to Hassan off a bit here. He needs to win this round now with the point deduction. That would essentially leave it an even round. Again, just walking across the ring. He's never in too much of a hurry. Sets those feet, lets those hands go right into the stomach, right up top. And Hassan off just wilted a little bit there. Batchkov pushing off with the inside of the glove with the forearm. He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful. 30 seconds rema remaining in the fight, in the round rather. Batchkov has taken over in the second half. He's had the point taken away. But Asanov is finding it harder and harder and harder to keep him at bay. Right hand on the inside. Lots of punches being thrown there. So I think what we'll see here is 10 nines across the board for Batchkov, which essentially turned into nine nines. And so therefore, heading into the third and final round, it'll basically basically be the same as it was at the end of the first. So Batchkov with a one point lead with three cards. And the other two a one point lead for Hasanov. Actually split scoring. 4-1 Batchkov there. 4-1 Thailand going with Hasanov. What that means is that going into the Final round, we've got a 2017 for Hussanov. That's important, so he's got one, definitely, you would say. And the other cards, three, are 19, 18 in favour of Batchkov. And the other one is 19, 18 in favour of Hussanov. So I wasn't quite right, but not far off 3 19 18s there for Batchkov so he still is in the box seat here Off, just trying to pen Hassan off in the 
in the corner there. I do think the lack of a real jab has been a problem for Hasanov in this fight. You look at how tall he is and the fact that he just doesn't really throw it at all is... In this kind of fight, it, it's to his detriment. If he had a snappy, hard jab, that's what you need against someone like this. Or it's certainly going to help a lot anyway. He's made a pretty good fist of things anyway. I thought he won that first round. I thought Batchkov won the second. And Batchkov again just looking to get on top of him in the third. Good straight left there from Batchkov. Working away on the inside. Just relentless, relentless from Batchkov heading into this final minute. Just determined that he's going to take this final round. Needs to be careful, warned by the referee about keeping his punches up there. Hasanov walks forward and tries to sink a left hand into the body, but then looks to get onto the retreat. Batchkov again on the inside here. Hasanov just looking to try and grab hold here at the moment. He's doing some holding here. The Azari fighter. The ref has a word with him about it. Tries to get that uppercut up the centre. Three cards, 19-18 to Batchkov heading into the final round. 120 points to 17. For Sarnoff. Sarnoff is claiming it, but I think Batchkov has won that final round, which would see him go through. Very entertaining fight, very entertaining indeed. The point deduction. Made things interesting. Made things very interesting. Batchkov gets it, split scoring in the final round, four out of five judges went his way with 10-9, so there's a, a level card in there, 28-28 from our judge from Wales. We didn't need to go to a referee's decision on that card though because we already had a majority, it's 3-1 in favour of Batchkov. He's got three cards of 29-27, to 27, so three rounds to nil. Sarnoff has got one 3 0 as well, which turned out at 30 points to 26. I'd have been in line with the judge right at the top there, our judge from Wales. I had it 2 1 uh, with the point deduction. That for me made it 28 28. An interesting fight. Point deductions all over the place in, in ring B this evening. Matchkoff goes through. 